This makes it as easy to build applications on top of open source models as using ChatGPT's API. Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you OpenLLM, which is a new open source repository that makes it dead simple to build applications on top of any open source model. They provide a super simple API, the setup couldn't be easier, and they support a bunch of models with an increasing list, and you can bring any models that you want. Plus, soon you'll be able to fine tune your own models with this, and you could use tools with this like Langchain and Hugging Agents. So I'm gonna show you how to install it, I'm gonna show you how to get it set up, and how to use it. Let's go. This is the OpenLLM repository page. I'm gonna drop a link in the description below. It is well documented already. Here are a few things they talk about. State-of-the-art LLMs, they already support out-of-the-box, Stable LM, Falcon, Dolly, Flan, ChatGLM, Starcoder, and more. They also have super easy to use APIs that you can test using an interface, which is nice. They also have first-class support for language chain, Bento LM, Hugging Face, which you can use Hugging Agents, and you could put together multiple different LLMs, which is nice. And here it says you can automatically generate your LLM server Docker images or deploy as a serverless endpoint via Bento Cloud. So super easy to go from local deployment to production ready. And last, fine tune any LLM to suit your needs and that is a coming soon feature. First, let me show you how to get it installed. It's really only one command, but we're gonna be using Conda like we usually do to avoid any Python and module mismatch issues. And the first thing we're gonna do is create our new Conda environment. To do that, we're going to type conda create dash n for name, ol, which is open LLM, but you can name it anything you want, python equals, and we're going to be using python version 3.11.3, which is a very recent version. Then we hit enter. And here we hit enter again to say we do want new packages installed. All right, that's done. Now we activate the environment. We can just highlight this code right here, copy, paste it, and now we're activated. And we can tell that this environment is activated because it says ol right there. And now watch how easy this is. pip install open LLM. That's all you have to type enter it installs everything we need all right it's done now to verify that we installed everything properly all we have to do is type open llm dash h and there we see that we have it available and it tells us everything we need to know about the commands now right here it says start and that allows us to start any llm as a rest server so to do that we type open llm start and then we're going to be using opt which is the one that comes out of the box with open llm but i'll show you how to install other models as well we hit enter and it's done and we can see that the server is up and running and the only thing we have to do now is go to the interface which is localhost colon 3000 and this is what it looks like it's basically an api documentation page but it also allows us to test the endpoint which i'll show you right now so if we scroll down a little bit under the service apis there's only two api endpoints that we really need to worry about right now. One is the generate endpoint, which is going to be obviously the most frequently used. And then we have the metadata endpoint, which gives us additional information about the models and the server. So let's try the generate endpoint. So we just click that, it opens up, we click try it out. And then right here in the JSON, we're going to enter a prompt. So we're going to say, tell me a joke. Then we hit execute and if you can just imagine this as an api endpoint that's all it is so we just pinged an api with this payload and we're waiting for the response now and if we scroll down a little bit it tells us all of the types of responses and the response codes that we can expect and keep in mind as this is running you can change all of these settings in here so max new tokens min length early stopping it has a bunch of very common settings that you would expect with these large language models. And if we go back and look at our server, we can actually see that it is pinging the endpoints that we expect. All right, it's done. So we can scroll down, we can see the response here. Obviously this response doesn't make a lot of sense, but that's only a reflection of the model. And this is a very small model that we're using. Next, let me show you actually loading this into a Python application and how easy it is. So we still have that server up and running. And now what I did is created this short Python script. So all we do is import open LLM. Then we have the open LLM client here, pinging our local server. And then here's our query. So I assign the response to this variable response and then I'm gonna print it out. Now let's run it. Top right, I'm gonna hit play. Now I get these warnings. Bento LM does not support loading JSON encoders from URLs. Output will be normal dictionary. I don't actually know what that means, but it doesn't seem to be causing any problems. 
And here we go. Explain to me the difference between further and farther. I think he means farther is a verb that means a step, but I don't really know. Farther is a verb meaning to move farther away. Farther is a verb meaning to move further away, farther. Yeah, so the response doesn't make sense, but the API is working perfectly. And so just imagine, you can put this simple code into any Python application that you want, and you're gonna have access to building on top of an open source model that easily. And you can deploy the whole model really easily as well. So out of the box, OpenLLM supports these models, Flan, Dolly, ChatGLM, StarCoder, Falcon, Stable LM, and multiple different versions of each of them as well and they could not be more easy to install. You just do pip install open LLM brackets and then the model name. So let's try that out now. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So let's grab the Falcon model. I'm gonna copy that. I've opened up a new terminal while I still have that server running. And of course I'm gonna enable that Conda environment. And now we have that same Conda environment ready to go. So now we just do pip install open LLM Falcon and I'm gonna hit enter. Okay, so that worked. Now, one thing to note is I've gone through this installation before and the first time I did it, it gave me some warnings at the top. It said, please make sure you have installed and it gave me three or four different modules that I needed to have installed and it failed the first time. Then I simply did pip install for each of those modules and then it worked. And it tells you upfront what you need to install. So just keep that in mind. And it says it right here. Open LLM doesn't include dependencies to run all models, and so that's what you're gonna need to install. But again, it tells you. So now to run the model that we just installed, we spin up a new server, open LLM, start, and then Falcon instead of OPT, then we hit enter. Okay, so here's that warning I was talking about. Make sure to have the following dependencies available, EIN ops, Xformers, and safe tensors. Now I already have those installed, but you might have to do that. And now if we go down to the metadata endpoint, let's try it out, execute. And here we go, we're using Falcon 7B now. How awesome is that? So this is so easy to use. I'm so excited for this project because one of the biggest limiting factors of using open source models as an engineer was how difficult it was to build on top of them. But now this is a dead simple interface for building on top of these open source models. Okay, so now let's say I tested out all my code and I'm ready to deploy. All I would need to type is open LLM build Falcon and then I just hit enter and that's gonna create a bento. Okay, a couple last minor things. One, you can specify different versions of models with this simple command. Open LLM start, and then you list the model, and then you say model ID, and then you put the model ID at the end, and that will make it so that you're actually starting the server with a specific variant of a model. And here you can see all the different variants of the model. And as I mentioned at the beginning, they also have a Hugging Face Agents integration already. So you can use Hugging Face Agents with any of these local models model. So you're really talking about extremely powerful tools now being available completely open source and lang chain, but that is coming soon. So that's it. I hope you have fun building on top of these open source models. Let me know what you think about this. I'm going to be following closely this project because I'm super excited about it. If you had any trouble installing this, jump in my discord. I'm happy to help out. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.